the relation between time t and distance x is t equal to ax square plus bx where a and b are constants what is the acceleration right now this is a relatively good question as compared to what generally is the level of a triple e right uh, if we see the equation what will be that t will be equal to ax square plus bx although students who have knowledge good knowledge of integration they will be able to solve it easily so this is the equation and from this equation we have to calculate the acceleration right so the, uh, this is the equation between t and x right so what we do in this if we differentiate this equation with respect to x with respect to t right so we will get dx by dt which will be equal to what velocity right so let us see what the equation will come if we differentiate with respect to t though this will come out to be 1 because dt by d, dt this will be equal to a into 2x into dx by dt plus b into dx by dt right now dx by dt i can write it as velocity v right so that means 1 will be equal to 2axv plus bv right so from here i can take v as common so v will be equal to 1 upon 2ax plus b right so let us mark this equation as 1 right now we get now here what is happening we have eliminated t we get a relation between v and x right so we will again differentiate it because after differentiating it we will get the acceleration because dv by dt will come so again differentiate it with respect to t with respect to t so this will give you acceleration a let us mark this acceleration a as capital a because small is already there and that might uh, you know th there will be a confusion in this so let us just rub this and uh, let us mark this as a acceleration a this will be equal to minus 1 upon 2ax plus b whole square into differentiation of inside which will be 2a into v right now let us see the options here it is given in terms of velocity right acceleration is given in terms of velocity so velocity one uh, part of velocity is there but here we are also getting in terms of x also so we have to eliminate this x and put something in terms of velocity so from the first equation we see that 1 upon 2ax plus b will give you what velocity so that means i can write it as minus v square because it is 1 upon 2ax plus b whole square minus v square into 2av right so i can write it as minus 2a v cube right so this is the answer so that means option d is correct right